Are you wondering if AI can truly replace the hard work and vision to build a successful personal brand? Well, today I'm going to be diving into why AI alone cannot save your personal brand. My name is Joel Valle. I'm a personal branding reviewer for coaches and consultants at TrustVisuals.com. And to kick things off, I'm going to show you a comment that Sam Altman did recently on a podcast about how AI is going to affect businesses. Do you have any advice for CEOs beyond that who are want to be proactive about preparing for these types of disruptions? I, I would say like bet that intelligence as a service gets better and cheaper every year and it is necessary but not sufficient for you to win. So the big companies that take, you know, years to implement this, you can like beat them, but every other startup is that's, you know, paying attention is gonna do this too. And so you still have to figure out like what what's the long term defensibility of my business. Now the the playing field is way more open than it's been in a long time. There's incredible new things to do, but you don't get a pass on like the hard work of building enduring value, even though you can now do it in more ways. Hmm. Now that we have heard from Sean Altman himself on his personal opinion of how AI and businesses are going to work together, let me dive in onto the three main reasons onto why AI alone won't save your personal brand. First reason is understanding your why. Well, AI can automate content creation and AI might help uh, eventually expand your reach, it doesn't necessarily understand your own intrinsic motives. So you have heard that Mike Tyson quote that uh, everybody has a plan until they get punched in the face. Well, it's kind of like the same situation here. The situation is that AI will be able to lay out all these strategies for you, but at the moment, of building your personal brand, the AI won't help you go that extra mile, that inner feeling that you have that will make the push, that adrenaline. So that is why it's very important to understanding your why of why you're doing all these things because AI is not going to give you that push to keep you moving forward. That's a innate human trait as of this moment. The second main point is the concept of empathy and understanding. In a rapidly changing environment that everything's going to get more technological, the skills that will set you apart is the skills of being a human, of having empathy, of having communication. Those two things are going to go a long way to set yourself apart in your personal brand. AI, yes, it's going to get better, but still people follow people. For example, AI at one moment might be able to call your cable company and say, hey, bill needs to be canceled or you're going to uh, uh, make a complaint about your bill or something like that. Or you're going to call your cable company and an AI is going to attend your call and it's just going to give you a technical service or it's just going to attend the bill and, and then you can make a complaint, right? But that's like low stakes. We're talking about, for example, cable. But let's see what happens if it's a 911 call. Let's say that it's some, somebody who has uh, some negative thoughts and that needs psychological help. While AI will increase in empathic skills over time, it's still not be able to substitute a human being who is going to have true empathy for the other person on the line. So when there's a tricky situation that it, it needs a finesse, it needs uh, uh, an empathy of a warm blood human being on the other side, a friendly human voice to walk you through some difficult situation that you're going to in through your life. AI is not going to be able to quite do that yet. Maybe in 10, 20, 30 years, it might be able to do that. But it's safe to say that in these next 10 years, if you have those skills of being actually more human, that is going to set you apart. And point number three is the element of human in personal branding. The term personal brand inherently means that it has a human connection. And yes, there will be one moment that it's going to be AI characters, AI uh, personalities, but still people will be drawing to follow other people. I don't think that at any moment, well, maybe 300 years from now, but 
That's besides the point. But at this moment in time, you're not going to pay an NBA ticket to watch a bunch of robots playing against each other. No, you're going to want to watch uh, guys playing with other guys or in case of the WNBA, women against playing other women. Because that's what is more dramatic. You're also not going to watch a chess game between two robots. You want to watch a chess game between two grandmasters. That's what makes it exciting. And that preference underscores the value that your personal brand may have when building your community. The human touch will be irreplaceable. So what is going to set us apart? Again, we can use these AI tools. I'm using it myself, but it's the integration between the AI tools and the human emotional connection and vision that's going to set apart people and that can make something truly special. So no, I don't think the AI is going to replace the hard work of building a personal brand. It can't at this moment. That is going to be pushed by you. So I just don't think that you'll be able to uh, set up AI and go and drink margaritas at the beach. That's what a lot of influencers right now, you know, YouTubers are posting uh, videos about, oh, make $3,000 with AI. It's, it's, it's all a scam. You know that. Deep down, you know that. Deep down, you know that this is going to be hard work anyway. It's just that the tools are going to be making it more easier for you. Just like before, that we cameras were expensive 10 years ago. Right now, with your smartphone, you can do a video. It's going to make it easier, but it doesn't mean that having the best cameras is going to make you a better YouTube or a better content creator. You are the one who has to work with your inner self to be a better content creator, to be able to spread your message, to be able to build those connections. So you see why AI is not necessarily going to save your personal brand? You yourself are going to save your personal brand. Your mind, your thoughts, your experiences. That is going to set things on fire. By the way, if you're enjoying this video, please give a like. It helps more than you think. Help this channel grow. And while you're at it, hey, subscribe. So maybe you were expecting AI to save you and to do all the work for you and to run the business for you and all that. So I made a video about how we can embrace the struggle and how to enjoy that process and go through the motions when things are not going as good. Go watch that video because it may help you uh, be more resilient on your goals of building your personal brand. I'll see you over there and always remember to enjoy the process in your journey.